Yeah, excess sites, we do uh, tritium night sites, but we also have non-tritium versions of the sites. The question was, what is tritium? The easiest way to explain it is tritium is hydrogen. So everyone knows hydrogen, but well, tritium is an isotope of that. So you got hydrogen, and then you have deuterium, I believe it is, which is H2, and then you have H3, which is tritium. Uh, it is a radioactive isotope, but it is beta emitter instead of an alpha emitter. So you imagine Chernobyl is uh, alpha, you know, it destroys your cells. Well, the beta is so small, it's like uh, the sun. And when the sun hits your skin, or when you eat a banana, you get some radiation from potassium. And it's so small that, you know, you, your body barely even knows you got any. Uh, and so our, our tritium vials are small, and even if they break, I mean, there's, you know, you'd have to uh, basically sure. eat, you know, thousands of them before it could ever hurt you. Sure. And then you would have ingested more glass than mm -hmm. actual tritium. Uh, it's a scary word. Uh, France, right, they allow importing of sites, but they do not allow importing of uh, tritium sites. So then, you know, because uh, they have, you know, they have all the nuclear reactors and everything in France and they're real nuclear, a byproduct of, uh, you know, the nuclear reactors is they'll produce deuterium and tritium out of the reactors just as uh, the radiation breaks down. You come over here, I'll show you. So what you see in the ring around it is ember and it's a uh, proprietary for us. This is the actual tritium. Yep. Tritium has no color. Yeah. And what you're seeing in here, uh, maybe we can catch this on camera, maybe we can't, it's hard. Uh, but you'll see you'll see green and it's actually phosphorus. So the, the tritium emits the beta particles and the beta particles excite the phosphorus and that's what actually produces the light that we see. Yeah, which is what allows you to see in the dark. complete darkness, yeah. correct? And also, correct me if I'm wrong, but it only will glow like that for about 10 years. So we guarantee 10 years on our product. The half-life, the radioactive half-life is 12 years. So in 12 years, your tritium produces half the amount of, you know, beta, beta okay. particles. And so you basically get half the amount of glow after 12 years. It still glows, it's yeah. just half. And so every 12 years, it's half of the half. They still have uh, Russian, uh, you know, tritium sites that glow from World War II. Dang, okay. Uh, but they don't glow very bright. Yeah, but they're you know, glowing. You have some tritium scopes that still glow. It's just very, very faint. And if someone wanted to replace the tritium in there after 10 years or whatever, how would they go about doing that? I can't speak for other manufacturers. Ours are sealed. So if you want to replace a tritium, you basically replace the, the, the whole site. thing. Yeah. Okay. Some <laughs> other manufacturers offer other colors of tritium. The issue with that is green, the phosphorus, is the most excitable, so it's the brightest. Okay. And so you'll go around to some other manufacturers and they have like a yellow or a this or that. They're using something other than phosphorus to make the light a different color. And then you don't, you need, you need more energy to get that light out than the green. I got you. And so we just do green standard because, you know, self-defense, you don't want, you know, I mean, if you're looking for rainbow sites. Yeah, yeah.